Well everyone, today I'm going to introduce you to a very simple package that can help you colorize your hierarchy. So let's get into it. Go to the Unity at store and go to this patch over here page over here. Uh go to color hierarchy category game object made by M Studio Hub. It's free and you just get it at your asset and then download it in your Unity. Once you have done that, go to import. Let's import all of it. Sometimes you don't really need the sample scenes, but uh well for the sake of this tutorial, just import all of it. Now, uh, if you want to move it to your own folder, for example, called plugins, you can do that. Just move it here. Okay. And then go to scenes and then sample scene. Sometimes the scene, uh, I mean, the hierarchy hasn't been uh, redrawn or reloaded, or the package have been, hasn't been loaded. Uh, perfectly so sometimes you can see that it doesn't uh, recolor the package doesn't work if it doesn't work you just have to reload your unity by uh, uh, editing your script and then go back to unity so it can reload sometimes you can uh, you can okay uh, this is basically the whole package doesn't really do much except uh, adding a new tax and then adding a, a new background which is a rectangle and then adding a new text on top of it so basically this package doesn't change uh, the uh, text that has been drawn by unity so the uh, if you can see if you click it here you can see the cameras and then sometimes you can you know see like these uh, icons and then the name of the game object over here the package itself doesn't change that it adds a new rectangle on top of it and then adds a new text on top of the newly made rectangle so it does two things add a new rectangle and then add a new text on top of each of this item over here and then uh, the the package for now uh only finds you know finds any game object that has this key char which is slash slash if you can see here if i'm not mistaken this gameplay here has a slash slash that's why it's colored black if you add slash slash to your player as well it will be colored Black, right? Uh, the same thing goes with the other keycha. And of course, you can change the background if you really want into that. Voila. Okay. Now, of course, there's a if you if you are good with this, if you didn't see anything that you want to add, it's fine for you, perhaps. But for me, there's a few things that I want to add and modify. First of all, uh, I want to make sure that. The background doesn't cover the icon of my game object so i want to move it a bit to the right and then another thing that i want to add is i want to make sure uh i can for now you cannot actually just make a text without the background and then text itself has to be drawn on top of the old text so you cannot really do that if you want to try prove it i mean uh, just turn off this background move this middle to the center to the upper left as you can see uh, it's kind of broken because uh, the newly text made newly made text uh, it's drawn basically at this coordinate over here instead of this the coordinate on the right and the the old text so that's the problem over there so uh, we're going to fix that i'm not i'm not, I'm not sure if uh, the word fix is correct but uh, we're going to change and modify things a bit okay so load uh, both of the color palette and the star hierarchy. The first thing down to change, uh, instead of using a key jar, I'm going to use something called token. So I want to add, I change, rename it to token. Uh, I'm just going to remove this tooltip over here. Just remember that there's a tooltip over there that says you have to bump up the alpha to 255. Okay, next thing I want to add is Instead of just using the token or the, the name of your game object, you can also you can add a new functionality here by making a new name. So we're going to uh, add, we're going to use this new name as our text later on. Now things we're going to add is I'm going to cheat here so because I've already made it. So we're going to move the text. Uh, to the right by 18 and then we're going to move with the background by 16 to the right uh, the reason I use uh, 18 and 16 uh, is because 
it just fits with the unity so it doesn't fit with you just change this value a bit and then hopefully you can draw your tax on top of the, your newly made tax on top of the old tax perfect align okay with that done let's go to the style hierarchy so what style hierarchy does is simply uh, get the uh, color palette which is this one one of the color palettes so if you made a lot of color palettes you're going to just use the uh, the first color palette that this code can find get the path get the get the color palette out of that path and then we are going to use it later on this uh, in this function and then uh, in this style hierarchy every time the other application which is unity every time unity draws the hierarchy for each item it's going to call uh, this function of here on the hierarchy window so every time unity calls this it's going to be uh, broken now now so every time uh, unity uh, make this hierarchy and then draw this item over here and we're going to call on a hierarchy window and then uh, unity is going to provide us with the instance id which is the uh, instance itself the, the data of this instance by calling it to the unity utility and then instance id to object get instance and then also unity provides us with the where the uh, rectangle should be drawn if you want to draw a rectangle okay so we want to check this so if it's not null we want to check whether this instance fits the name of this instance fits with our uh, token so originally it's uh the package you starts with and then the key char over here but we're going to change that using contains so if our game object contains the name of the token so it has, does have to be uh, fully equal but you can make it equal for example if you make it this right uh, it works as well if you really want to make it precise but sometimes you don't really know that you don't really need that just use contains uh, no, it works sometimes uh, it depends on you then next thing that I'm just going to move this new name over here to down here okay so this is the meat of the package itself it draws a rectangle and then it draws a tax which is a label field so what kind of rect rectangle uh, it draws is basically the same rectangle that usually provides and we're going to change it a bit we're going to add some uh, here So we're gonna make a new rectangle based on this selection rect. Copy it, paste it. So we're going to make a new rectangle based on this information that has uh, based on the selection rect that has been offset a bit and then the width uh we're at by 20. And then we're going to change the color. Okay, that's done. Next thing another thing that we're going to do is going to make a new padding. So once uh, when we are making the label field we're going to pass this new style uh, and then because there's no padding over here padding is uh, 0.0, .0. we're going to add the new padding based on our design the, the field that we have already made here right by x and by y which is 0 for y then it's supposed to be 18 for the x we're going to pass this when we are making the uh, level fill and then this the position of our level fill will be the same with the one that unity provides and then the new name which is this one we're going to change as well if in your color palette which is in design right design color palette if you have your new name so i'm going to check whether it's new or white spaces if you don't write anything to name, if it's null, you're going to just use the instance to name, so the name of the game object itself, or we're going to use our new name if you fill something into the uh, new name here. I'm going to uh, demonstrate it later, but that's for it. And then instead of making everything a capital in capital letters, I'm going to remove this, just use normal letters. Okay. Hopefully this is done. Let's go back to Unity. 
Okay, it's kind of broken, of course, because our script of objects here is broken as well. Make it zero, a new one, and then, okay, just change this instead of zero, making it to 18, and then the rectangle should be offset by 16. Then, for example, uh, let's call it the camera. So if there's a game object that contains this string camera, we're going to change it to camera T he or something, whatever. Don't forget to bump up the alpha and make it blue, quite blue. And then the pagan color should be also be around blue-ish. Bump up the alpha, up left normal, and then voila. So the dollar sign cameras contains the word camera and then the main camera also contains the words camera that's why we can draw a new rectangle and then draw a new text on top of both of them also we can just change this uh, i mean we can just draw a new text without the background and doesn't ruin the whole sign turn off the background and change the player color here to green and then let's not use any new name which is zero we're going to use the word uh, player here. We'll go with that. Blah. It's changed, right? We can also change this one. Then here, blah. Just yes, it works just fine. Okay, that's all about it. That's this all the package and then then the modification that uh, you know we provide together, we made together. Thank you for watching. Um, have a very blessed day. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, it's going to help the channel provide more information for more people, of course. Um, yeah, goodbye.